morning, guys. Here with Jeannie. We're back in uh, Longmont, back at home. Been two weeks since uh, since the race in Indian Wells, and uh, as one can imagine, there was a decent amount of emotions and thoughts going through the the whole brain after that one. But had some pretty productive conversations with uh, with a bunch of people and. I feel like I'm I'm finally back on track. So I kind of wallowed in my sorrows for about a week, but now I'm actually feeling quite good. And um, yeah, got a new set of goals to work towards. And yeah, so it is Sunday morning and just gonna fall back into our normal routine here and take you guys through a bit of a training day. All right, we're back in the house. Jeannie's using the speed hound gun, getting her body organized. I'm gonna do that in a moment, but figured this was a good opportunity to walk through the kit. And I do this pretty much every single ride. I like to lay everything out on the bed because I'm obviously incredibly type A. So and you just threw my stuff. Yeah, I chucked Jeannie's stuff over there. <laughs> I didn't want it in the way of my shot. Anyways, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, super fortunate to be sponsored by Castelli. So we got the full winter garb today. It's, it is going to warm up out there, but it's not super warm. So yeah, we got the, the base layer. It's going to be like 45 probably. So I got base layer, jacket, vest that I can take off if I get hot, brand new pair of long pants. I got the socks and this is like a head thing to keep my ears warm. And then the tough thing here is just the, the gloves. So these are the Perfetto gloves. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade to something a little bit more beefy, but yeah, obviously got the, the sun god glasses and uh, yeah, pH gel some flat repair stuff. I've got some other stuff on my bike. And one thing I'm not going to be able to show the team today is what I'm riding. So it is December 17th and what's going to be underneath me is going to be different than what it's been before, but I can't quite say what that is yet. So we're going to be featuring the other amazing products that, uh, that we use. And yeah, it's going to be a good day of training. The ride today is pretty much a 30 minute tempo. So it's like 20 minute warm up and then 30 minute tempo, kind of like just under 70 point or just under Ironman Watts. And then it's six by one minute. Three of them are like strong, not crazy. And then three of them are pretty much as hard as I can go. So that's pretty much the most intensity, the most intense session that I'm doing all week. Um, but it's still pretty like, it's only six by one minute. So it's not going to be anything nuts. Um, yeah, sun's out and we had like a week here where there was no sun to be seen and overall just, um, yeah, gonna enjoy the ride. All right, I am uh, listening to the leaked new Kanye album. That is uh, a bit controversial, I think. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for it, but I'm trying to get the legs loosened up a little bit. Yesterday I did a 7K swim and a 11 and 11, I think like 11 mile run, hilly run. And um, yeah, just like I said, just trying to kind of find my groove back in training again and started off really bad <laughs> the first couple days uh, last weekend. And then, yeah, I felt pretty good all week. So nothing changes, nothing changes. So yeah, my coach David and I were making good adjustments and trying to get better every day. And uh, definitely trying to focus on my my physical health, my mental health, trying to get things like in a good spot. But yeah, I love to train and I love to race. So I'm pressing and um, we're going to find the, the path forward. So looking forward to just, I don't know, getting into it here in the next couple of weeks. And we got some really exciting plans going forward, just location wise and training wise and equipment wise. And just, yeah, I think things are trending in the positive direction. So just continuing to show up, as I say, and um, getting it done and trying to find that flow again, trying to find that group. Okay, we're out here over an hour into the ride and uh, I did 30 minute tempo right around 290 and then now I'm doing the one minuteers it's actually eight I misread it so thankfully I had it programmed in my bike computer so it's five like strong and then three maximum I've done four of the strong and the rest is three minutes easy in between I'm feeling feeling pretty good I mean super nice day enjoying a uh, fast bike and yeah just cruising getting her done solid watts today Interval's 
done. It was uh, actually significantly harder than I expected. I haven't really done oh, some VO2 work in probably like eight weeks. So that was my introduction to VO2, but uh, yeah, stung nonetheless. Anyways, job done on the uh, intervals today. Now just uh, easy warm down home. Whew. All right, that was the ride. Job done on that one. Go over some of the statistics here as we do. This is hour and 40 minutes. It ended up being 38 and a half miles, 23.1 miles an hour. Normalized power 280 watts and average heart rate 139. So that all sounds pretty fair. Um, yeah, overall, I think like I'm still kind of just getting my legs underneath me a little bit this week. So I'm feeling feeling pretty good, um, but not like amazing yet. So yeah, and I think one other thing I just wanted to touch on really quickly was like, I think I wanted to, I was reflecting a little bit on the video from Indian Wells and I, I felt like that was a very raw video and I was proud of it because I think that's how we all feel after tough races. So like I filmed that an hour after the race. And so, yeah, that was, definitely on the vulnerable side of things, but it's not all gloom and doom. And at the end of the day, I've been reflecting a lot the last two weeks. And I think the, the, the main thing I've been thinking about is just, yeah, like I do have a lot of gratitude for my ability to be able to do this as a professional athlete and that my body is willing to do it and that I have the resources to do it. And of course there's like pressures and it, and all the things that I alluded to in that video, but it's, really not all that bad at the end of the day. Like I get to freaking ride my bike for a living. So, um, yeah, generally like I'm okay. Vibes are good. I still love triathlon. I'm still going to continue to do this. I'm still going to find my way back. I am confident that I'm going to achieve my goals and that, um, one day I will get to where I want to get to. And of course there's going to be these, these, um, you know, valleys along the way, but that's okay because we all do that regardless of whether you're a professional athlete or just like a normal Joe working, um, you're going to have those things in your career. So anyways, I'm going to continue rolling here and, uh, we'll get on with this, this nice Sunday, finish up the week and the training day. All right. Bye. <clears throat> okay. We're back. Had a couple hours there. Just, uh, recovering, doing some Sunday laptop work. Hung out with Jeannie for a while and was watching some football. Now it's uh, 1.45 and we're heading out for the second session of the day. Final workout for the week. I've been doing that more recently. I feel like in the past I was doing a lot of triple days like swim, bike, run or yeah, bike, run, gym or something like that. Where as now I'm doing probably a little bit more just like two sessions a day. Both of them being like decently solid. Not a lot of fluff in my program. It's all just like decent stuff. Um, so yeah, right now, final session, just one hour aerobic, um, steady running. So for me, that's anywhere between 6.45 and 7.45 minute per mile pace. So definitely start on like the easier end of that and then kind of work it up if I'm feeling good. And yeah, that's what's on tap. All right, run done. That was 8.91 miles, 654 minute mile average. So not a bad run, pretty cruisy. And uh, yeah, nice way to round out week. Week one here of a nice long build. So I'm hoping in the next couple of videos I can elaborate a little bit more um, on what the race plans are. But uh, really appreciate everyone following along on today's training day. And if you wanna see anything more specific, Drop them down in the comments. If you made it this far in the video, like and subscribe, and we'll keep these things going. I appreciate all you guys. Peace. All right, you thought the video was over, but it's not. Father Christmas has arrived, and I was—I got to thinking. Jeannie and I were doing a bit of organization this afternoon through our closets and our old clothes. We were gonna give away some race kits, and I said, you know what? Goodwill's not gonna get the race kits. We gotta give one away on the YouTube channel. So we've got the 2023 custom Big Mets edition race kit, only one of two ever made. This is the Castelli PR speed suit, so the absolute top of the line suit here. And um, I'm gonna be giving it away to one lucky fan who subscribes to the channel, likes the video, and comments anything down below. 
I'll even sign it if you'd like to like me to sign it. And if you just want to wear it and not have a signature on it, that is great too. So do those three things and I'll pick a winner in the next week's video and really appreciate all you guys. And now we will actually see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>